Hey everyone, it's Danny here, and in this video, we are working on this four-foot kegerator. Now, the brand of this kegerator is a true, very, very well known, very expensive, very reliable, but for some reason, this cooler right here is not working. So, I'm going to be troubleshooting it with you guys. I'll be right back as I change the angle of the camera. Okay, so the, uh, the kegerator has been now running for about 20 minutes. And it's definitely not working inside. No cold air. It's about room temperature. The evaporator fan is spinning, so that's a good thing. So now we can move on to our condensing unit. Now as you can see, in this case we have no access to our high side and our low side. This is our high side and this is our low side. So whenever you guys come across this situation, what you want to do is touch the condenser. Now the condenser, if everything is working, uh, under normal conditions, the condenser should be warm. If it is cool, that means that the system is low on refrigerant. In this case, um, when I feel the condenser here, these little copper pipes that go inside through the condenser, when I touch this, it is cool. So this system is low on refrigerant. What, what I can do to double check is go on to the back of the unit and also touch the suction line. This, the suction line is the, the bigger of the two pipes here. So when I feel this, the suction line, during normal conditions when there is enough refrigerant inside the system, the suction line should be cool, if not cold. Sometimes you can even see some frost build up on this pipe. In this case, when I'm touching, uh, when I'm touching it, it is, I'd say, lukewarm. So that's another hint that the system is low on refrigerant. So we have just troubleshooted the system without having access to the low side and the high side of our system. We conclude that this system is low on refrigerant. Okay folks, so I put nitrogen inside my kegerator that I troubleshooted earlier without having access to my high side and my low side. Um, and now I have found the leak. Check where it is, it's right here. You guys see that? There's a leak in the system. So my troubleshooting was correct. Without having access to the high side and the low side, I concluded that this system had a leak somewhere. Once I pressure tested the system, I used some soap here, some liquid soap. Found the leak here. Gonna fix it. Pressure test it again, see if there are any other leaks. And then, gonna vacuum once the pressure has held. Gonna vacuum, then gonna charge the system with some refrigerant, and then we are good to go. And this system will be ready to sell in no time.